Okay, so today I'm doing my first official tier list for the war robots uh, weapons and robots that can be viable within each league and what specific weapons I recommend you should run on them what specific drones uh, depending on what league you're in and accessibility so today we're starting off with tier 1 based off of my knowledge and gameplay with each individual robot starting with the Golem which is a very rare, or it used to be a very rare robot, almost unattainable. It has very good firepower, in fact, it might have the highest firepower out of every single robot in tier 1. It has extremely well durability, very resourceful, uh, can be used here as a sniper, a brawler, pretty much everything. I would say this would go into the ultimate, not to be confused with ultimate robot or what is. For the first couple of leagues, uh, usually from private all the way to gold league, that's if you're casually playing. Um, if you would want to go to a more competitive stage, that's where you will go to the higher leagues for. But overall, for new players and players all alike, the Golem, I would say, is the best tier 1 robot you can obtain, if you have one, because it is still quite rare. From time to time, I have seen them on the leaderboard or in giveaways and things like that. The recommended setup that I would run on this would be for the first couple of leagues it would be a Thunder and Gus. Um, if we're specifically talking about only tier 1 options then Thunder and Punisher would be the best go to option. If you are trying to run a brawling type of gameplay. If you're more of a sniper, then the King Day, as seen on here, uh, would be good, or any tier 1 sniping weapon. And then the, not the Punisher teams, the other version of the machine guns, the long range, the mullets. The mullets you could cut on the golem with the Nash horns or King Day. Those are really good if you're going for a sniping approach. Um, the next one on our list is going to be Stalker. Um, a very well-rounded robot when it comes to evasive maneuvers, uh, beacon capture, or even just assassination, stuff like that. Uh, for the Cossack, I would put in... I would put in Ultimate. Uh, solely just because of the ability that it's based on. The stealth is reasonably long and is very useful, I would say, especially within the low leagues, the starter or the newbie leagues. The weapons I suggest, as you can see it as on here, would be magnums, but those are tier 2. So if we're specifically, again, going for just tier 1 weapons, the most accessible at tier 1, I would say Punishers or Molded Tees as well. Um, if you're solely going for beacon running, then I suggest uh, one Ansel, or not Ansel, one ECU. You can run two ECUs if you want. Um, but other than that, at least one ECU if you're going for a beacon running approach and either a spiral or an aphid or you can run two aphids if you're going for more of a sniping or a assassin approach the cossack or not the cossack this robot 
it isn't necessarily a brawler, but if it's stealth, you can do a decent, reasonable amount of damage. Next up is, of course, we all know, the GOAT, Cossack. You already know, one of, actually not one of, the best tier 1 robot, the best robot in the entire history of the game, actually. Um, specifically speaking, in, in real terms, for casual gameplay, or for newer people here to the game, if you haven't reached pilots or been able to progress to the level to obtain pilots, then it won't be as effective as it can be. But from what I've seen, if you do get a pilot with this robot, the Cossack, the only one specific skill that you need with this robot is the ghost skill, which allows it to have much more speed. However, the setback is its ability, which to jump constantly will be off. Um, I find it easy depending on <coughs> your style of gameplay to capture beacons. It's not really something you can really brawl with, but it does have great corner shooting uh, ability. Its, it's structure is very good for corner shooting, as you can see from one weapon to its side, and just hiding cover. Very good at beacon capturing. If you're going for a competitive uh, higher leagues, then the weapon choice I suggest, um, I'll actually suggest those after I do the regular casual. Uh, ranking. But you definitely want to get pilots for all of the tier 1 robots. But the recommended setup for newbies for the most accessible robots in tier 1 only, I would say is ECU or AFIT. The AFIT specifically because its projectile damage is usually unavoidable with the, these slower robots that you'll meet. Uh, in tier 1 in the lower leagues. It does, I would say, a decent amount of damage, even if it's just one eighth hit. And then ECU, if you are solely going for beacon capturing, ECU would be the other recommended. Possibly uh, Punisher T, but it is just one weapon, so you won't really be able to do much with that other than corner shoot and you could, of course, bait and lure um, other robots, such as the Stalker here. Let's say if you have one on the enemy on the enemy side, you could taunt or bait the Stalker or any other robots into using their ability by corner shooting them, annoying them until they get ticked off, and then they'll chase you, but you'll have more cover because you have uh, the ability to corner shoot. If you're not able to get the pilots, of course, that would be completely understandable if you're newer to the game, as you'll be lower level. If I remember correctly, you won't uh, unlock pilots until level 20. So without the pilots, you just want to spam as many jumps as you can. Try to stay closer to buildings, because nowadays, even in lower links, it is very swamped with bots. Hurricane, Doom, you all know what I'm talking about. Um, of course, my recommended gameplay uh, style when it comes to lower leagues, always try to stay in cover. Not just because of bots. Uh, people could be running projectiles like aphids or spirals. It's always better to, to stick together in a group and to stay in cover. When trying to capture beacons, stay right next to any potential cover. Uh, of course, if you do start to retain fire, that's where you want to spam the jump ability on the Cossack. That's if you don't have the pilot. If you have the pilot, I would recommend getting the ghost skill. The next robot we have is Bolt, uh, specifically the Reaver Bolt, which is the rarest type if you are able to acquire it or if you already have it. If not, that's fine. Uh, it's more of an aesthetic thing anyways. So, the Bolt. 
a very fast robot. It has multiple ability dashes that can have it potentially evade any projectiles like the aphid spirals or even doom, hurricane, um, all of those things. Uh, very fast robot, very good for tier one. Um, I would actually put it in the useful um, because it's durability like the Cossack which I will actually also put in useful for right now. Um, both of these two are just very good beacon runners. They can't really brawl although the bolt does have increased firepower much more than the Cossack as it has three light weapons. My recommended uh, choice of weapons for the bolt at tier 1 specifically in the lower leagues, um, I would suggest 3 Punisher Ts, or you can run 2 Molets and an ECU. Uh, ECU is basically the physical shield, so you can get an ECU on the side and put 2 Molets for more long distance gameplay. If you're trying to brawl, then I would suggest either 3 Aphids, 3 Spirals, or three punishers. The next robot we have is the, I don't know how to pronounce this correctly. I'm gonna say Rog Rog to get the Rog Rog Red. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, very very well liked, well known within the YouTube community uh, within more robots. Specifically also because of the ghost pilot skill that it can obtain. If you are able once again to obtain pilots before moving up to higher tier robots or weapons, the ghost skill is the most recommended thing. Again, the jump ability will be deactivated, but you will have so much more speed, be very useful. Um, if you do not have pilots, again, I would suggest the same strategy as the Cossack. And as far as weapons choice, I would suggest if it's just tier 1 weapons only, I would suggest 2 Punishers or 2 Aphids. If you do not have enough resources, because it, it is gold to, to acquire uh, certain weapons, it does cost gold and not many players have enough. So if you're not able to afford a fit, the next best projectile I would suggest is the spirals. Then again, I just realized those are light weapons. Correct, I had to correct myself on that. So a fits aren't even usable on here because the Rogretta has two medium slots. So. The actual uh, weapon choice would be the medium version of the Punishers, I think the Punisher Ts, or the medium version of the Molets. So either the Molets for more far distance range, or the Punishers for more close distance. Um, other than that, that will be the main weapon choice just for tier one. As I said, later on I will go into more depth uh, in the detail for higher tier weapons if you're trying to get into a more competitive stage with these tier 1 robots. The next robot on the list is Jesse. Um, a very one of a kind robot has a specific function um, only a few other robots have within the game. I would say it is viable solely because of its ability to shapeshift or to switch its weapons, which allows you to recharge the weapons on the back after you're done firing one clip. That I would say gives it decent firepower, uh, decent maneuverability, it has decent and poor durability. Overall, I would suggest more of a either sniper build or a projectile build. Um, you could run the aphids on here if you're going for projectile, but I would suggest trying to use either molets or punishers. And again, 
stick to cover. Try to just not take any unnecessary damage before actually encountering the enemy. As I said, recommended weapon choice Punisher, Molens. If you can afford them, then Aphids. Next on the list is the. If I remember correctly. I think it was the GI Patron. Or GI Pattern. This, I would say, also one of the best tier 1 robots only specifically because not only of its insane durability for tier 1 but its firepower as well um, four weapon slots that has many uses you can put two ECUs you can put one ECU you could put pretty much every type of weapon choice on there you could put a mullet you could put a punisher uh, a uh, AFID and an ECU which I would not suggest doing unless you know how to play well with that specific setup. But as I said, great firepower, uh, great defense. My recommended setup would be uh, three mullets and one ECU or you could also put for brawling you could put three punishers and one ECU and of course corner shoot as much as you can when you can't meet cover anymore that's when you can turn and use the ECU. Next robot is the Jeopard. Um, in this case for all casual and even competitive and new players I would say this is a pretty weak robot. Although it does have three light weapon slots, it does not have the speed or maneuverability as the Bolt robot and its durability is not great either. Um, overall, this is quite literally a sitting duck. Um, my only advice to you, if you do decide to run this robot within tier, tier 1, within the lower leagues, um, just spam projectiles, just spirals all the way. Just because honestly, there's not much else you could do with this. If you can't afford them, of course, like I've said, aphids would be the best if you can afford them. If not, it's spirals. Overall, this robot can be pretty poor in terms of usefulness for gameplay. Next robot, we have Vitilize or Vitilize. I'm not sure if I pronunciated that correctly. Anyways, we're gonna put this in the I would say ultimate. Also specific specifically because of its durability and its firepower, um, which can possibly rival the golem. It is a pretty slow robot, I would say, with no pilot skills in the lower leagues won't really have much to do other than sniping and brawling. So, I mean, that's the majority of what you can do with these robots. Um, very, very nice firepower. As I've said, durability is, is much higher than most other robots here. My recommended weapon choice would be either two Punishers, a Thunder. Um, you can also put the Thunder if I didn't Say that for the Golem, you can run Thunder on there as well. But yes, you can run Thunder, two Punishers, or if you're going again for a sniping uh, style gameplay, then put in the Mullets, you can put projectiles. But the ultimate setup, I would say, is to put Punishers and Thunder for just tier, we tier 1 weapons specifically. Next up we have the BOA, which I will say is still somewhat viable. It's also pretty rare. It did used to be on a uh, current or recent leaderboard. And in the ultimate luck uh, for newer players, if you don't understand what that is, it's basically gambling. So people would spend a certain resource to 
get certain items and this would be available on the list. As, as of I know right now, it might not be attainable unless there's deals within the shop. But regardless, I would say it is still quite a viable robot as it does have quite the durability. And its firepower is decent, just a little bit less firepower than the Vitalas. And also very maneuverable, very great in sniping. Um, as I've also set up here, you can run King Day or the Nashorn for sniping. Unfortunately, Tretch Bucket is tier 2, so for tier 1 specifically, I can't involve that in here. Uh, weapon choice definitely would have to be Thunder, Punisher T. Um, as I said, for the sniping, you could put Kang Day and Mullet or projectiles such as Spiral. And then the next one that we have is the I'll put Destrier first. So Destrier, if I'm being honest, if you do not have the ultimate version, which was given away quite some time ago, uh, free actually to players, it's honestly also just another sitting duck. Fire power, not that great. It's durability and speed also honestly just very poor. Um, Suggested setup would be two Punishers, two Molets. Not much you can do with it. And lastly, we have this robot. Um, as of right now, currently, I do not remember his name. But it is a part of the Lancelot and the, I guess, the Great Knight uh, family of robots. So I would put this as useful specifically because of its frontal shield and its great corner shooting ability. Uh, very maneuverable, has decent speed, decent firepower. Durability not as good but the shield makes up for it. You can actually also equip an ECU next to it as well, uh, providing great cover actually. So that way you can also have cover on the front and on the side and still shoot over the cover. Um, recommended setup would be Punisher and Punisher T or you can run um, the Molet version as well. Overall this is the finalized tier list for casual or newer players for tier 1 specific setups. And next for the more competitive players out there I would say this is going to be about the same, except the only difference is the weapons tier list. As far as tier 2 weapons go, um, I would run a Thunder and two Storms for the Golem, uh, two Magnums seen, uh, as seen on here on the uh, Stalker. For the GI pattern, I would run four gusts, or you can also put the four um, pinatas, which are projectiles. Very, very good setup. Uh, very high firepower weapons. Oh yes, thunder, storm. You can also put gusts or magnums, but magnums will be the ultimate. Uh, choice of weapons for competitive players using stalker for the gi pattern as i've said you can either run four gusts or you can run the panadas as far as vinylats go or vitalas you can run one trench bucket and two air blast if you're going for sniping um, i also of course suggest the same thing for golem you can run a trench bucket and two I think they're called, not Air Blast, they're called... It's very similar weapons that have a similar firing mechanic to the Air Blast. I think they're a, some sort of a greenish color. Um, all of them take time to charge up, so it's part of the same weapon family. 
for the sniping playstyle, uh, for brawling, for the Vita lads, for competitive gameplay. I would definitely, of course, say Avenger because Avenger uh, and two Punishers, very great firepower. Um, you can also run Avenger and uh, two Panadas. Same thing for Golem. If you don't have access for enough gold, um, if you are trying to be competitive, if you don't have enough gold to acquire Avengers for the Golem or for the Vitalas, then Thunder would be the next most viable option. Um, as far as the rest of the robots go, you're gonna basically wanna run either Magnums. You can run Magnums or you can run Storms. Um, other than that, as far as the light, uh, light weapons, you can run, so you could run either Panadas, uh, which are the projectiles and that will basically be it. Um, of course, another great weapon choice, uh, not only for the BOA, but for the other two uh, robots that can equip heavy weapons. You can also put the Exodus. Um, it is quite expensive though in terms of gold. It is 2,500, so... It is honestly something I would say is worth it. If, want to acquire it very great firepower one exodus by itself already has great firepower when leveled up so as far as competitive um, the greatest setups you can run on here are the recommended thunder avenger exodus and then you can put in your panada if you're going for projectiles uh, for the boa i would say exodus and one panada for the Vitalis, I would say two Panadas and one Exodus. Uh, Exodus and two Pins or Panadas. I'm not familiar with the medium version of the, of the projectiles. Um, but yes, the projectiles or the Avenger, Punisher, or the Shotgun, uh, the Shotgun weapons. And that will be about it. Um, as far as skins go, if you are interested in more of the aesthetic, uh, aesthetic style, moreover than the actual gameplay, I would suggest trying to get either special editions if they have any, or the Vermilion skin, which I assume as of right now isn't that acquirable, uh, only through certain, uh, only through certain links I'm not sure or not familiar with how I got some of the Vermilion some of them some of them are purchasable with silver or gold um, but skins aside my recommended tier list for using robots within tier 1 for lower leagues and for competitive gameplay it will stack up like this so what you would want to run in your hangar uh, as a tier 1 player or just for newer players as that will this will be the most accessible uh, hangar at the start of the game of course since some might be rarer than others you won't really be able to uh, it won't be as uh, promising as you won't really be able to obtain these but if you can, I would definitely recommend running these four and then either possibly the Rogretta or this robot here. For competitive, it's pretty much the same thing. You would want to run these five here. And that will be it for right now. Um, as far as pilots go, of course, this is for the competitive players as you will as you move up the leagues, you will also move up levels. Uh, the pilots I recommend, Manny, Adrian. Um, if you're running specific weapons like the Magnums, then of course, I recommend the Otto Strayer or the Marie McClear, or not Marie McClear, my fault. Uh, the Trixie Hope pilot, any universal pilot that you can run on any robot is basically the ones you want to run. 
um, as well as the fire uh, mechanic pilot. Not familiar with his name, but that's great to run too if you are going to be running flame weapons. Uh, but as far as tier 3 and higher, um, at that point, for viable weapons, if you're doing competitive gameplay with just tier 1 robots, anything, I mean at that point, tier 3, tier 4, any, anything would be viable with these robots. Because uh, they, to be honest, they won't do, they will not perform as well as higher tier robots. Uh, that aside, that's it for tier 1. We will be going over tier 2 and higher tiers pretty soon. And of course, if you guys haven't already, I would appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribed. This has taken quite some time, as you see, to make um, quite a lot of storage space as well.